Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to my Robinhood portfolio. For this video, I'd like to talk about Real Estate Investment Trust ETFs. This comes from a comment thread about three weeks ago or so when talking about individual real estate investment trusts that viewer asked if there's any good ETFs that are centered on REITs, and there are quite a few. So I thought I'd take the opportunity to talk about five of the larger real estate investment trust ETFs out there. And also wanted to uh, quickly point out some of the risks involved with investing in any type of REIT at the moment. As you guys know or may not know for new investors, a real estate investment trust or REIT is a company that owns or finances income producing real estate. And the reason the REIT exists is that the companies that own properties can avoid paying corporate taxes as long as they uh, distribute 90% of taxable income as unqualified dividends to investors. So, Essentially, REITs are very high income producing stocks. Uh, as I said, they have to, by law, give to the investor 90% of all income that is generated by the fund, which has some disadvantages, especially in a time of rising interest rates, which we are currently experiencing. Essentially, in order to grow, the REIT would need to raise external debt as it's not able to use the equity from its business operations. Like I said, it has to give 90% of that back to the investor. So in order to grow the REIT, the a company that owns the properties would have to look for external debt. And in the environment of raising interest rate, that debt becomes more expensive. So as you can imagine, the business operations are impeded by increasing interest rates. And the other uh, big threat is from investors shifting capital from REITs to other sources of income producing uh, stocks and bonds and other things like that. Essentially, a REIT is considered sort of a bond alternative. It's a little bit safer than stocks and it gives a very good rate of return because again, like I said, it has to give 90% of all its earned income back to the investor in the form of dividends. So in the environment of very low interest rates, REITs are very attractive because they have very high rates of return but when interest rates start rising bonds and other forms of income producing investments become a little bit more attractive because they're a little bit less risky than real estate investment trusts so that's just a cautionary note before thinking about investing in any sort of real estate investment trust including ETFs at the moment so having said all that let's jump into the five different stocks here and again these are five of the larger real estate investment trust ETFs out there first one here is VNQ, a Vanguard Real Estate Investment Trust ETF. You can see on the bottom there, it's tracking a market cap weighted index of companies involved in the ownership and operation of real estate in the United States. You can see it has a great dividend yield there in decimal form, 4.4%, a PE ratio of 39.65. And you can see there, it's a very, very large uh, ETF, 34.44 billion. And you can see the Return has been very nice over the last three months, one year, and even five years. It's tracked up quite nicely there, 65.52%. But remember, again, this has a 4.4% dividend yield, so it looks a little bit more attractive. Uh, it, it is up quite a bit there, but it is simply not keeping pace with the overall S&P 500. The uh, second uh, real estate investment trust ETF is RWR here. It's an SPDR Dow Jones REIT. You can see on the bottom here, it's tracking a market cap weighted index of firms involved in ownership and operation of commercial, residential, and healthcare, and other real estate within the United States. Again, a uh, real estate investment trust with a good dividend yield in decimal form, again, 4%. Again, you can see this is a very large ETF, 3.18 billion. And if we take a look at the performance, it is essentially identical to that of the Vanguard fund here. And you can see here, it's, they're quite volatile as well. Over the last five years, up 61.1%, which is in line with uh, the performance of the Vanguard. Much larger ETF here. Again, $34.44 billion. The third, interesting enough, is REIT, R-E-E-T, the ticker symbol. This is an iShares Global REIT ETF. And you can see here, it's a little bit different from the first two. It's tracking a global market cap weighted index of firms involved in the ownership and operation of real estate. Again, the dividend yield on the bottom there in decimal form, 5.2%. Uh, much smaller ETF than the other two, 418, excuse me, 417 million. And if we take a look at its return here, much the same as the other two real estate investment trusts. And you can see this is a little bit newer 
ETF as well. It started back in, uh, looks like mid-2014 or so. The fourth income producing real estate investment trust ETF is an iShares Cohen and Steers real estate investment trust. You can see on the bottom it's tracking an index of 30 large cap REITs selected by the committee. Again, the dividend yield there in decimal form, 3.9%, a very large ETF, 3.2 billion. And again, the performance is much like the other two real estate investment trusts. Back in uh, February 2017, you can see here they tracked down quite a bit here, but since early March here, they've been making a rebound. So maybe good to jump into some of these and the uh, momentum up here. But again, given the uh, cautionary note at the beginning of the video, it may not be a great time of jumping into real estate investment trusts at the moment. And over the last five years, again, about the same as the other two, other three in, uh, real estate investment trust ETFs, about 60% or so return. And the last one here is a Swab Fund, SCHH. You can see on the bottom here, a market cap weighted index of real estate investment trusts, excluding mortgage REITs and firms involved in real estate finance. Again, in decimal form, 2.6% dividend yield. A large ETF as well, 3.07 billion. And much like the other ETFs as well, similar performance with that uh, drop off here again in early uh, March, end of February here. And then it's also been making a nice little recovery over the last month or so. Last five years, 62.2%. So again, SCHH, ICF, REET, RWR, and VNQ. These are some of the larger real estate investment trust ETFs out there. Not sure if I would jump into a real estate investment trust at the moment. I'm actually looking to get out of some of my real estate investment trusts. They just haven't produced as well as I would have hoped. But again, they are very good income producing investments, typically having very large dividend payments. A lot of these are monthly dividends as well, which is very nice for income investors. But again, with the rising interest rate and the predicted additional interest rate hikes for the rest of this year, I'm not sure if it would be a great time to get into these types of investments. 